the president of Karuba. Xavier Serrano has been assassinated. Richard Miller, VSSE's top agent, has been implicated in the crime. VSSE can protect Richard Miller for only 48 hours before they turn him over to the government of Karuba. With his life on the line, Miller must act quickly to determine the truth behind the assassination. Time is running out for the one-man army. Richard Miller. Marissa Soleil. Zeus Bertrand. Ricardo Blanco. Cantaris. Time Crisis Project Titan is a cool retro game from my childhood. The game itself is an on-rail shoot-em-up with cover physics. The character moves by himself, then he stops, a bunch of enemies surround you, you shoot them when you run out of bullets or the action gets too heavy, you duck for cover, wait for the enemies to stop shooting you, reload your weapon, pop out again, shoot a bunch of enemies, and pop back into cover. On top of all this, there's also destructible items and environments in the game, so it's not only fun to kill the bad guys, but also destroy where they live. The bad guys in this game throw grenades, attack you with melee weapons, and most frequently, they just shoot you with guns, both pistols and big automatic rifles. But the bad guys aren't the only things you're fighting. Sometimes there are obstacles in the environment that can hit you, like, for example, this crane that keeps spinning around the shootout area. And if you don't duck right when it's ahead of you, it's gonna hit you right in your skull. The graphics in Time Crisis Project Titan are good for PlayStation 1. For 2001, which is when this game came out, not so much. They could have done better. But just compared to the PlayStation 1 game this is a sequel to, the graphics are notably better. It's just that in 2001, games had much better graphics than what you see here. The story of this game is just delicious, pure, 1980s action movie cheese. The story is just filled with badasses and hot chicks in bikinis. You play the protagonist, who is just this unstoppable badass in a leather jacket and jeans. You're Steven Seagal come Arnold Schwarzenegger and it's just awesome. The game is just high-paced, non-stop action and I love it. It gets more difficult as you progress but also you get better and better as you keep playing so the gameplay never really gets impossible. Compared to other retro games I have, Time Crisis is in almost perfect condition. I mean, it's amazing how there are no like claw marks, nothing is broken. The CD is just perfect. Even even the little, little manual that came with the game. There are no marks. It's just crisp like I bought it yesterday. But of course, this game is over 13 years old. Just complete pitch perfect condition here. Also, if you um, look back here, you know this is a retro game because it came with a little note in the back that... It, they gave you a number to a tip hotline where you uh, can call the Namco tip line and uh, they charge you. This is not a free service. They would give you tips on Time Crisis Project Titan. You, it's uh, 95 cents a minute for automated tips and a uh, fifteen a minute for live counseling on Time Crisis Project Titan. Can you believe that live counseling? I wonder if that number still works. Like if you just call there and there's just some old grizzly man just, Hello, yes? Uh... Time Crisis, Project Titan Hotline. I haven't had a call in the last 78 years. How can I help you, young man? It's amazing. Somebody should really check that number out if, if, you, if you don't mind uh, forking out a few bucks to uh, get some tips on a game that you can just find information for on the internet. And this isn't like a game from, you know, 1995, like the original Time Crisis or um, whatever, the mid, even late 90s. Time Crisis is a game from 2001. So we already uh, had a pretty uh, established internet um, gaming community back then. And there's plenty of information for games from 2001. I remember I, I downloaded like an entire um, strategy guide for Cartilla The World of Fate. Uh, it was probably like a hundred pages and I printed it out from the internet and that was like something like 2000, 1999. So yeah, it's, it's strange that they would be charging people for things they could easily have gotten free on the internet at this point in uh, gaming history. Time Crisis Project Titan is one of those games that have fallen through the cracks 
because of not so positive reviews and not a lot of people knowing about it. But I'm telling you right now, it is definitely a game worth checking out. It gets an official Stan Bergman rating of an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.